Hi, Milana Alicia here. Today is my last day at MTV Networks. I'm gonna be documenting my last day as well as sharing some highlights of my time here that I've had at MTV throughout this past year. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm about to go on the subway now and then head to my last day at MTV. This is so wild actually. I never pictured my actual last day at MTV. Here's the office. Viacom, CBS. <laughs> Let's hope my ID is still working. It would be so embarrassing if I get there to fight my ID and they're like, oh, nope, you can't come anymore. It worked. It's time to go to the floor that my team sits on for the last time. Here we go. Last day at Viacom, last day at MTV. Here's my last time taking a picture with this ID because I'm pretty sure to get confiscated. Like, I did not enjoy taking this ID picture at all. I look completely horrible. The lighting is bad, but it's all a bittersweet memory now. Here I am on the floor that my team sits on. This is my last time being on this floor at my desk and also just in this general area. It is such a sad, I can't really describe it, but it's sort of, I'm happy, but I'm also sad at this being my last time going to my desk and just being on this floor. I am heading to my desk for the last time ever. Well, I don't want to say ever because there's always, who knows what the future may hold. I might end up back at MTV, maybe not on the exact same team, but back at MTV. But this is my last day uh, going to my desk for now. This is the iconic Milan, but also the iconic moon person. This is my desk area and the area that my team sits right now. My desk is really empty right now because I took everything home already, but I'll just show you briefly where I used to sit with my team. This is my desk. It's very empty. I used to have gold designs hanging up and coats and stuff, but that's all gone now. I wrote some thank you notes to my team. I'm going to be passing these out to each of their desks. This is such a bittersweet moment because I will thoroughly miss my time at MTV Networks. There is truly no place like MTV Networks and I will forever be grateful for it for being my first job after I graduated from Bard College in May of 2018 with a bachelor's degree in film production and a bachelor's degree in anthropology. I have had the most amazing tenure in a year at MTV. I have met some of the most amazing and talented and knowledgeable and passionate and inspirational people while being the production assistant for the casting a talent team this past year at Viacom. If you've been following me either on YouTube, LinkedIn, or on my Instagram, you should know that Viacom, which is the parent company of MTV, while it's now Viacom CBS, which is the parent company of MTV, has been a place of many firsts for me. Viacom enabled me to have my first internship in television during the summer of 2016 when I interned at BET Networks with their television programming and scheduling team. I have a video, I'll link that down below. And then Viacom allowed me to have my first job in entertainment following my graduation from undergrad 
2018 with this position at MTV as the production assistant. Working at Viacom has been and will always be meaningful to me because it allows me to examine how entertainment and media serves as a form of cultural communication. Just doing one last walk around the office floor. Although I am sad to be leaving MTV Networks, I am happy to have had the opportunity to work for the network because as a woman of color, I understand how people of color tend to be absent from both the creative and executive realm of media, yet MTV as a brand and as a creative network tends to push for greater inclusion of people from all underrepresented and diverse backgrounds. By working as the production assistant for the talent and casting team, I was able to firsthand see how casting diverse and unrepresented talent tends to push for greater inclusion of people within a competitive media landscape. So we were able to cast people who came from genderqueer backgrounds, from trans background, people of color, just all walks of life. It was sort of great to be able to help put those type of people on air. I am simply so thankful for all of the support that MTV has extended to me. I had the most amazing time working here and it's just something I'll forever be grateful for. During my time at MTV, I was able to work on some amazing and collaborative projects that taught me how to be deadline oriented and just taught me so many professional skills that I didn't have before. And so for that, of course, I'll have to be grateful. I was able to work on some amazing and collaborative projects. I was able to scout and pitch talent that we may not have ever known of. So it was sort of cool to be able to be trusted to go on to these various platforms and sort of research different talent for whatever we had in development and then pitch them and put them in a database. So that was sort of really great and a, an amazing experience. I was also able to edit and produce and cut these amazing sizzle tapes to help our team with whatever programming that we had in development. So it was great to be, to be sent these hour long videos and then it was up to me to help the team put these cuts into sort of a three minute sizzle or reel so that we could showcase our amazing talent. The entire office is empty, like everyone is gone. So I'll just show you some of my favorite spots in this building uh, from my time here at MTV. So here we are on floor 25, which is a place where I would go to sometimes to just sit in the window and people watch because it has an amazing view of Times Square. The Empire State Building and it's just also a nice place where I would come to get away from my desk whenever I would need a quick break and quick refresher. This is the view that I would get. You just see people walking around Times Square and then over there you have the Empire State Building which is beautiful to look at. The Paramount Building is right there. The huge Forever 21 is right there. The other Viacom Building is here across the street. I just had a really nice time coming here and sitting in the window looking at views, just taking a break from my desk. On 25 is also this super cool music room, which is behind me where some of our really cool guests would come in to have meetings and some quick little meet and greets and things like that. I can't show you it, but it's a really cool and super dope space to be in. I do have some amazing highlights from my time at MTV, one being going to NASDAQ with our CEO Bob Backus and President Chris McCarthy as they rang the closing bell ahead of the MTV VMA Awards. Another highlight of mine was also going to the VMA Awards, which I have a video um, that I'll link down somewhere below. Of course, one of the most valuable highlights was being able to gain the knowledge to learn the ins and outs of talent, pitching, casting, and series development. Anyways, back to my tour. We are on 430, which I love because for one, the lighting is bomb. Like you see my skin, I look like I'm glowing. Um, so I love coming to 30 whenever I wanna take some selfies. When I'm at work, also this floor is usually relatively empty and quiet, which is another reason why I like to come up here. So this is floor 30. I'm not really gonna go around the inside floor of each floor because there are people working and I don't wanna be a distraction. I also don't wanna record anything that I'm really not allowed to be recording. But yeah, usually on 30, I'll come up here, sit in this couch, hang out for a bit. I usually also go inside this office because that office is generally empty and I'll just go 
in there, work on some assignments on a laptop, and then go back to my desk whenever I feel ready to head back down there. Another one of my favorite floors, which is floor 31, it's sort of our sky room. It's a wrap MTV. This is such a bittersweet moment, but we all have a time in our lives where we have to acknowledge that we do need to make a progression within our careers. If you want to know more about my experience working at MTV Networks, or if you have any questions about working in the entertainment or media industry, feel free to leave some questions down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Milan Alicia, at me on LinkedIn, at Milan Miller, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I should make a note that although I am leaving MTV Networks, I am not leaving Viacom CBS. My next position will be within the Viacom CBS family, so it's very exciting to continue working with Viacom. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.